live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Informatica World 2019. Brought to you by Informatica. Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's live coverage of Informatica World. I am your host, Rebecca Knight, along with my co-host, John Furrier. We have two guests for this segment. We have Abhiman Mat Matalapudi. He is the product master at Deloitte, welcome. Thanks for having us. And we have CUBE alum Rajiv Krishnan, specialist leader at Deloitte. Thank you both so much for coming Thanks on theCUBE. Thanks John. It's always Love good to be back here. Love the new logos there. What's the uh, pins there? Give us, what's the take on it those? It looks like a honeycomb. <laughs> yeah, so interesting that you ask. Uh, so this is our giant Deloitte Informatica. Informatica label pin. You can see the Deloitte green colors and the nice. Informatica colors. Yeah. Beautiful. This shows uh, the collaboration, the great collaboration that we've had over you know the past few years and plans uh, for the future as well. Well, that's what I'm. That's what we're here to talk about. So why don't you start the conversation by telling us a little bit about the history of the collaboration and and what you're planning ahead for the future? Yeah. So. Um, uh, you know, if we go like you know, ten years back, uh, uh, the collaboration between Deloitte and Informatica uh, has not always been that that strong, uh, and sp specifically because Deloitte is a huge place to navigate, and uh, you know, in order to have those meaningful uh, collaborations. But over the past few years, we've uh, uh, you know, built solid relationships with Informatica and vice versa. Uh, I think we see great value. Uh, the, the clear leaders in the data management space. Uh, it's easy for us to kind of advise clients in terms of uh, different facets of data management, uh, you know, because no other company actually pulls together, you know, the whole ecosystem uh, this well, right? Well, you're being polite. You, <laughs> reality is, you know where it's weak and where it's real, right? I mean, the reality is there's a lot of FUD out there, a lot of uh, noise. And so, I got to ask you, because this is the real question, because there's no one environment that's the same, Customers want to get to the truth faster. Like, where's the deal? What's the real, real deal with data? What's gettable? What's attainable? What's aspirational? Because you can say, hey, we want to make data, data-driven organization, SaaS apps everywhere. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, every every company wants to be more agile, right? Business agility is what's driving companies to uh, kind of move all of their business apps uh, uh, to the cloud. Uh, the the, the problem with that is that uh, people don't realize that you also need to have your data management governance house in order, right? So according to a recent Gartner study, they say by next year, 75% of companies who have moved their business apps to the cloud is going to, uh, you know, unless they have a, uh, their data management and data assets under control, uh, they have some kind of information governance uh, that has uh, you know context or purview over all of these business apps. Uh, Fifty percent of their data assets are going to erode in value. So, absolutely the need of the hour. So we are seeing that great demand from our clients as well, and that's what we've been advising them as well. What's a modern MDM approach? Because this is really the heart of the conversation we're here at Informatica World. What's 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 the, what is what does it look like? What is it? Yeah. So, I mean, there are different facets of or, or functionalities within MDM that actually make up what is a holistic modern MDM, right? In the past, we've seen companies doing MDM to get to that 360 degree view. Uh, somewhere along the line, the ball gets dropped. That 360 view doesn't get combined with your data warehouse and all of the transactional information, right? And, uh, you know, your business users don't get the value that they were looking for uh, while they invested in that MDM platform. Uh, so in today's world, uh, MDM needs to provide uh, front office users with the agility that they need, right? It's not about someone in the back office, you know, uh, doing some data stewardship. It's all about empowering the front office users as well. Uh, there's the aspect of uh, AIML from a data stewardship perspective. I mean, everybody wants cost takeout, right? I mean, there's fewer resources and more data coming in. So how do you manage all of that data? Absolutely need to have AI ML. So Informatica's Claire product helps with you know, uh, suggestions and recommendations for algorithms, uh, match merge algorithms. Uh, Deloitte has our own MDM Elevate solution that embeds AI ML for data stewardship. So it learns from human data inputs and uh, you know, cuts through the, the mass of data 
uh, records that have to be managed. You know, Rajiv, it was interesting, last year we were talking, the big conversation was, moving data around is really hard. Now the solutions for that, move the data integrity on-premise, on cloud, Give us an update on what's going on there because there seems to be a lot of movement, positive movement around that in terms of you know, quality, end-to-end. Mm -hmm. -end. We heard Google up here earlier saying, look, we can go end-to-end -end all you want. This has been a big thing. How are you guys handling this? Yeah, absolutely. So in uh, today's uh, keynote, you heard uh, Anil Chakravarti and uh, Thomas Kurian up on the stage and Anil announced uh, uh, MDM on GCP. So that's an offering that uh, Deloitte is hosting and managing. Uh, so it's going to be an absolutely white glove service uh, that gives you everything from advice to implement to operate, uh, all hosted on GCP. Uh, so it's a three-way ecosystem uh, offering uh, between Deloitte, Informatica, and GCP. What's interesting about GCP, just as a side note, is before you get there, is that they're really clever. They're using SQL as yep. a way to abstract all the under the hood kind of configuration stuff. Yep. Smart move because there's a ton of SQL people out there. Exactly. I mean, it's not it's not structured query language for structured data, it's lingua franca for data. They're right. changing the game on that. Exactly, uh, it should be part of their cloud journey. So organizations, when they start thinking about cloud, first of all, what they need to do is do they have to understand where the data assets are, and there where the data feeds coming in, where are the data lakes, and once they understand where their data are, it's not always wise or necessary to move all the data to the cloud. So. Delight's approach or recommendation is to have a hybrid uh, approach, so that they have they can keep some of their legacy data uh, data assets in the on-premise and the some in the cloud applications. So Informatica MDM on GCP powered by Deloitte, so it, it acts as an MDM uh, nimble hub, and irrespective of where your data assets are, uh, it can uh, give you the quick access to the data, and it can enrich the data. It can uh, do the master data, and also it can protect your data, and it's all done by Describe information. Describe what a nimble hub is, real quick. What does yeah. a nimble hub mean? What so, does that mean? So it means that irrespective of wherever your data is coming in and going out, so it gives you very light uh, feeling that the client wouldn't know. All we, uh, Informatica, MDM, on GCP, Port by Delight, what we are saying is, we are asking client to just give the data. And everything, as Rajiv said, it's a white glove approach, is that from engagement to the operation, it, they will just feel uh, seamless uh, uh, support yeah, from the and just to address the nimbleness factor, right? So we see uh, clients that have suddenly need to you know, get into a new market, or they want to say introduce a new product. So they need that nimbleness from a business perspective, which means that, well, suddenly you've got to like, uh, scale up and down your data workloads as well, right? And that's not just transactional data, but master data as well. And that's where the cloud approach, uh, you know, uh, gives them a positive advantage. I want to get back to something that Abhiman said about uh, how it's not always wise nor or necessary to move to the cloud. And this is a debate about where where do you keep stuff? Should it be on prem? Should it be? And you said it's a, the Deloitte recommends a, a a hybrid approach, and I'm sure that's a data driven recommendation. I'm wondering what evidence you have, and and what why why that recommendation. So, uh, especially when the, uh, it depends upon the applications you are putting on uh, for MDM and the sources and data is what you are trying to get for the Informatica MDM to work. So, it's not, some of your, your, your sources systems are already tied up with so many other applications within your on-premise and they don't want to give away the data and some might have uh, uh, concerns of sending this data to the cloud. So that's when you want to keep those all old legacy systems who doesn't want to get upgrade to your on-premise. On and who are all cloud savvy and they can, or starting new, so they can think about uh, and which need a lot of compute power and storage and so those are the systems we want to recommend to the cloud cloud. So that's why we say, uh, think when you want to, uh, where you want to move your databases. And some of it is also driven by regulation, right? Like GDPR and where, you know, wh which providers offer in what countries. And there's also companies that want to say, oh well, my product strategy, my, my pricing around products, yeah, I, I don't want to give that away to someone. And especially in the high tech field, right? You, you, your provider is going to be a competitor. Rajiv, one of the things I'm seeing here is in the show is clearly that the importance of the cloud should not be understated. You see, and you guys, you mentioned you get service with Google. This is changing not just the customer's opportunity, but your ability to service them. You get a white glove service, I'm sure there's a ton, ton more headroom. 
where do you guys see the, the cloud going next? Obviously, it's not going away, and on-premise isn't going away, but certainly the importance of the cloud should not be understated. That's what I'm hearing clearly, you see. Amazon, Azure, Google, all big names with Informatica. But with respect to you guys, as you guys go out and do your services, this is good for business, for you guys helping customers. Yeah, absolutely. I think there's value for us, there's value for our clients. Uh, you know, it's not just the apps that are kind of going uh, to the cloud, right? I mean, you see whole data platforms uh, that are going to the cloud. Uh, for example, Cloudera, you know, they just launched CDP, uh, you know, being GA by July, August. Uh, you know, Snowflake's uh, on the cloud doing great, you know, getting a good traction in the market. Um, so eventually what we're seeing is, uh, whether it's business applications or data platforms, they're all moving to the cloud. Uh, now the key things to look out for in the future is how do we help our clients uh, navigate a multi-cloud um, environment, for example, yeah. right? Uh, because sooner or later, they wouldn't want to have all of their uh, eggs invested in one basket, right? So, yeah. uh, you know, how do we help them navigate that? How do you make that seamless to the business user? Those are the challenges that we're thinking about. What's interesting about Databricks and Snowflake, you mentioned them, is that you know, it really is a tell sign that you know, startups can break through and crack the enterprise with cloud and the ecosystem. Um, and you're starting to see companies that have a SaaS-like mindset with technology. Yeah. Coming into an enterprise market with its ecosystems, where, look, it's a tough crowd, believe me, you know the enterprise. Mm -hmm. It's not easy to break into the enterprise. So for Databricks and Snowflake, that's a huge tell sign. What's your reaction to that? Because it's great for Informatica because it's validation for them, but also the startups are now growing very fast, and I wouldn't call Snowflake, three billion dollar startup, they're a unicorn, but times three. But it's a tell sign, this is something new we haven't seen. We've seen Cloudera break in, they kind of you know, ramped their way in there with, with a lot of raise, but, and they had a big field sales force. But you know, Databricks and Snowflake, they don't have a huge sales force. Yeah, yeah I think it's all about you know, clients and understanding what is the true value that uh, someone provides. Uh, is it someone that we can rely on to keep our data safe? Uh, you know, do they have the capacity to scale? Uh, you know, if you can crack those things, then you know, you're winning the market. Who's, who's, who are you attracting to the MDM on Google Cloud? What's the, what's the early data look like? You don't have to name names, but what's some of the use cases? You the white glove service from Deloitte uh, on the Google Cloud. Tell us about that, give us more data on that. Yeah. So um, we've just announced that here at Informatica World. Uh, we've got about three to four um, mid to large enterprises. Uh, one large enterprise and about three mid-sized companies uh, that are interested in it. Uh, so we've been in talks with them in terms of, and that's how we want to do it. We, want, we don't want to open the floodgates. Uh, we'd like to make sure it's all stable, you know, clients are happy, and uh, uh, there's word of mouth around. I sure like the end-to-end -end management piece of it. That's probably attracted, the end-to-end. -end. Exactly, I mean, that's, uh, so I mean, we are clearly, Deloitte's clearly the leader in the data analytics space, uh, according to Gartner Reports. Informatica is the leader in their space. Uh, GCP has uh, great growth plans. Uh, so, you know, the three of them coming together, it's, uh, it's going to be a winner. One of the most pressing challenges uh, facing the technology industry is the skills gap and the difficulty in finding talent. Surveys show that IT managers can't find qualified uh, candidates for open cloud roles. What are, what are Deloitte's thoughts on this and also what are you doing as a company to address it? Yeah, I mean this is absolutely a, a, a it's a good problem to have for us, right? I mean, which means that there's demand, uh, but unless we meet that demand, it's a problem. Uh, so we've been taking some creative ways in terms of addressing that. Uh, an example would be our analytics foundry offering, uh, where we provide a part of uh, people uh, that go from data engineers, you know, with Python and R and you know Spark skills to uh, you know Java resources to front-end UI developers. Uh, so a whole stack of developers, full stack, uh, provide that full pod so that they can go and address a particular business analytics problem or you know uh, some kind of visualization issues in terms of uh, what they want to get from the data, right? So uh, ability to leverage that pod across multiple clients, I think that's been helping us. If you could get an automated full-time employee, that'd be great. A yeah, digital and, FTE. And, and, and <laughs> this digital FTE concept is something that we've been looking at as well. And yeah, but, I, yeah. I would like to add on that as well. So uh, earlier, because data with the data disruption, Informatica is so busy, and Informatica is so busy that uh, Deloitte is so busy. Uh, now, earlier, 
we used to train Informatica folks and then later on because of the cloud uh, disruption, so we are training them on the cloud concepts. Now we, now what what they, the organizations have to think or the universities have to think is that uh, half in their curriculum, uh, the cloud uh, the cloud concepts in their uh, in their universities and their curriculums so that they get the all the cloud skills and after the once they have the cloud skills we can train them on informatica skills and informatica has full trainings on that I think it's a great opportunity for you guys. We were talking with Sally Jenkins, you'll see him earlier in the CEO. I was saying that it reminds me, early days of VMware with virtualization, you saw the shift. Mm -hmm. Certainly the economics, you replace servers, you go virtual, change the economics. With the data, although not directly, it's a similar concept where there's new operational opportunities, whether it's using leveraging Google Cloud for say, you know, high-end modern data warehousing to whatever, the community's going to respond, it's going to be a great ecosystem money-making opportunity. So yeah. the ability to add new services, give you guys more uh, you know, uh, capabilities with customers to really move the needle mm -hmm. on creating value. Yeah, and it's interesting you mentioned VMware, because uh, I actually helped, uh, as VMware stood up their VMC on AWS and NSX offerings on the cloud, uh, we actually helped them uh, get ready for that uh, GA and uh, their data strategy in, in, in terms of support, uh, both for data and analytics readiness. Uh, so we see a lot of uh, such tech companies who are moving to a flexible consumption uh, service. Uh, I mean, the challenges are different and you know, we've got a whole practice around that flex consumption. I'm sure Informatica would love the VMware valuation. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> not working for Dell Technologies. <laughs> we all would love that. <laughs> <laughs> Rajiv Abhiman, thank you so much for thank joining so us much. on theCUBE today. Thank you very much, good talking to you. I'm Rebecca Knight for John Furrier. We will have more from Informatica World tomorrow.